Why are marine conservationists putting glass bottles into the ocean? It turns out that this is a great way to add substrate to expand or regrow coral reefs. Not only are the glass bottles non-toxic and useful attachment points for corals, but it allows us to use a waste resource to give new life to reefs. In this video, we will explain how these bottle units work and provide a step-by-step -step guide to making them. I'll first let Conservation Divers Artificial Reef Specialist, Spencer Arnold, explain. Hi there, my name is Spencer Arnold with Conservation Diver. And here I am on the beaches of Madagascar, and I'm going to explain a little bit to you guys today about one of our favorite reef restoration techniques of Conservation Diver, the bottle unit. This incredibly simple reef restoration technique was developed back in 2009 by two of our students who came through the program James and Ames. They were looking for designing different ways of creating solid substrate put down quickly onto the reef floor to provide a stable base for corals of opportunity and corals from our nurseries, the opportunity to grow in again an environment that would allow them to thrive and succeed without being overgrown by other fouling species on the reef that might be competitive with those corals for growth. The first step to creating these units is to repair the bottles by removing the labels and cleaning them up. Next, we prepare concrete using the 3-2-1 method. Three parts sand, two parts cement, and one part water. We also add lots of rock aggregate to help keep them heavy and increase their weight in the sea water. Next, we grab some large, cheap plastic tubs to use as molds. You can coat the inside of the molds with cooking oil or spray with sugar water to help release from the molds later. If you use the sugar water, it will result in a rougher surface, which is great for natural recruitment. Once the concrete is ready, it's time to pour it into the mold and add the bottles. Fill the bottles up with water so they sink down in the concrete. You can also add shells, rocks, or steel rings to the surface. After about 12 to 24 hours, the units can be removed from the mold. It's best to wash them with fresh water and wait a few days for the concrete to cure before deploying them into the ocean. The units are easily carried by a single person to the boat. Once to the site, they can be brought down by freediving or by scuba divers using lift bags. Once on site, they can be shaken to help sink down into the sand a bit and immediately transplanted with corals. The corals quickly adhere and overgrow the glass bottles, while also providing habitats for many fishes and invertebrates. After just a few years, the bottle gets completely overgrown and is indistinguishable from the natural reef. For more information, check out our website, and to get involved, connect with any of our partner training organizations. Thank you.